Hello students, myself Chetan Garg, your mentor for today's lecture and I welcome you all to our International Mass Olympiad series. In this series, we discuss some previous year questions of uh, Mass Olympiad of various different countries. Today we will discuss Singapore Mathematics Olympiad Senior Section, that is SMO Senior Section. Right? And uh, if you want to prepare uh, any of these exam in India, that is pre-RMO, IUQM, RMO or INMO, these are the Mass Olympiad exam or any other competitive exam in India, then you should fill up this Google form vdnt.in slash vosmass2. Our concerned person uh, will definitely call you and uh, will enroll you in the respective batch. All these batches are completely free of course. Right. So let's start the session. This is a question of SMO uh, Senior Batch 2005. Right. The question says, the question as you can see that is of uh, number theory, right. Simple uh, algebraical question, right. Consider the simultaneous equation xy plus xz that is equal to 255 and xz minus yz that is 224. All right. So xy plus xz that is 255 and xz minus yz that comes out to be that is given to be 224. We need to find the number of ordered triples of positive integers, right? x, y, z such that uh, that satisfies the above system of equation, right? Now, as you can see, x, z is here, x, z is here. Let's subtract these two equations. Let's subtract these two equations. So, what we will get, x, z will get cancelled out with x, z. So, x, y plus y, z that comes out to be how much? 31, right? And uh, that, that implies take y common, x plus z that is 31. And now, clearly, 31 is a prime number. And uh, that can be written as a product of two natural numbers in only one way, that is 1 multiplied by 31. Clearly, x, y, and z, these all are natural numbers. So, x plus z must be at least greater than or equal to 2, right? So, 1 should be y, that is clearly y should be equal to 1. That This simply implies that our y should be 1 and this x plus z, that should be equal to 31, right? Now, just substitute the value of y in any of the one equation. Let's say substituting it in first. So, we will get uh, x plus xz that will be equal to 255. Or you can say take x common and just substitute the value of 1 plus z from here. 1 plus z will be how much? That will be 32 minus x, right? So, 1, 1 plus z we can substitute here. That will be 32 minus x and that is 255. Now, just make the factors of 255 that is 5 multiplied by how much and that is 5 1 51 so in total we have three factors 5 3 17 these are the prime factorization of uh, this thing right and clearly 15 plus 17 that is 32 so uh, one possible value of x is clearly 15 and the other possible values of x clearly is 17 because we know uh, 15 multiplied by 17 that is clearly 255 right so that means uh, if x is 15 then from this y should uh, z should be how much 16 so one possible triplet is 15 y is 1 and z is 16 and the other possible triplet is x is 17 y is 1 and z will be 14 so these are the two possible triplets right so in this question, find the number of order triplets. So the answer will be simply two. And these are the those two triplets, right? Now let's move to the next question. Uh, this is from SMO 2012 senior section again. Uh, the question says that fx is a polynomial and you can see this is a polynomial of five degree. Here this a1, a2, a3, a4 and a5, these are distinct integers, okay? It hasn't ma mentioned positive integers, so they can be any integers. Given that f of 104 is 2012, all right. So what is f of 104? That will be simply 104 minus a1 times 104 minus a2 times 104 minus a3 times 104 minus a4 times 104 minus a5. And that is given to be how much? That is 2012, right? So just uh, uh, do the prime factorization of 2012. That will be 4 multiplied by how much 503 and 503 is a prime number right 503 is a prime number right so now the point is uh, okay if we break it into prime factors so that will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 503 but in the question it is clearly mentioned that 
all these a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 these are distinct integers so that is clearly five distinct numbers so product of five distinct uh, integers we need that to be equals to this thing and so any of these two factors cannot be simultaneously two and two because in that scenario those two particular a's will be equal but we want different a's right so uh, four can't be break into two and multiply by two so only uh, thing we can introduce one also right so what we can do one four five zero three that will be but we need five factors so we can one minus one four minus four and five zero three this is the possibility or you can say if i break four into two minus two then one minus okay all right all right we need four so that will be the factorization to five zero three that won't be the factorization this will should be the factorization right so that that simply implies one of the factors let's say this thing that should be two other one should be minus two and uh, this thing should be let's say one and order won't matter because in the end we want to find sum of all these a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 and that is 503 now simply add these all numbers so on the right hand side what we will get we will get 503 and on the left hand side what we will get 104 multiplied by 5 minus sum of the numbers that we want to actually find a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 right so that is 503 so that means our this result that is sum of the numbers that will be simply 5 multiplied by 104 that is 520 minus 503 and that comes out to be 17 right so 17 is the perfect answer for this question and as you can see that this question seems to be a, an easy question right direct question right all right so let's let's move on to the next question and uh, this is from 2006 SMO senior section. The question says that consider the 800 digit number integer. So this integer is 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till 2, 3, 4, 5. So basically it, it is uh, 800 digit number. So basically it has 200, 2, 3, 4, 5 written. Okay. This group is written 200 times, right? Now from this group, the first m digits and the last n digits of the this integers are crossed out and uh, so that the sum of the remaining digits is 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. The sum of remaining digit is 2, 3, 4, 5. So what is the sum of this and the digits of the entire number? That will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 times 200. Right. So that will be how much? Uh, 7 and 14 to 2800. Right. And if the sum of uh, uh, the remaining digits is 2, 3, 4, 5, then that means the sum that is wiped out, that will be simply 2800 minus 2, 3, 4, 5. And that will be how much? That is nothing but uh, 2800 minus 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So 445, 455, 455 is the sum that is wiped out, right? So starting M digits. And then ending n digits. Right. Let's see how many complete um, group of two, three, four. How many groups of two, three, four, five will be there? So sum of each group is fourteen. Uh, four fifty five. That can be written as fourteen multiplied by how much? Fourteen three forty two twenty five thirty two plus seven. Right. So basically thirty two groups will be completely wiped out. So sum of these this thing and this thing that should be seven all right so two three four five and here also two three four five so clearly this five plus two is seven right clearly this thing is seven so uh, that means uh, these are uh, all right so, okay okay but not not that this thing two and five will be seven because we have erased from the starting end from the big uh, end Right, so the, these will be the numbers which will be remaining 3, 4, 5 and a group of pair of 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 2, 3, 4. Right, so for the two more numbers which are contributing to 7, they are removed. So how many total numbers will be removed? That will be uh, how many pairs, how many groups of 14? 32. So 32 multiplied by 4 plus 2. These many numbers will be erased. Right, 
there are 32 complete groups of 2 3 4 5 uh, and that contains four digit and plus two additional digit one is two and the other one is the last five which is contributing to the sum seven these many digits will be erased and what is what that equals to 4 2 8 4 3 12 128 to plus to 130 so 130 digits will be removed in total so m plus n that should be simply equals to 130 right so 130 will be the perfect answer for this question i hope all all, all of you can understand this right now let's proceed to the last question of the session that is of smo 2007 and this is this is a standard question right this is greatest integer uh, less than or equal to x this symbol is and if you think in fact greatest integer of any number is always less than or equal to x but here and we know n by 2 plus n by 3 plus n by 6 that is equals to n right that is in fact equals to n so that that simply implies this uh, greatest integer of n by 2 that should be, that has to be equal to n by 2 and that of greatest integer of n by 3 that has to be equal to n by 3 and that of greatest integer of n by 6 that has to be equal to n by 6 only then this equality can hold right and for this to happen n should be a multiple of 2 and should be a multiple of 3 and should be a multiple of 6 so in all we can say n must be a multiple of 6 then only this equality will hold, right? So uh, we want integers less than 2007. So just calculate how many integral multiples of 6 are there, which are less than 2007. So that will be 6, 3, 18, 23, 27, 4. So 334 are the total multiples that are uh, less than 2007 and in fact a multiple of 6. So how many positive integers? The answer will be clearly 334 right all right guys so that's it from today's session today we have discussed uh, some previous year questions of singapore mass olympiad exam senior section and in the next lecture we will be discussing some previous year mass olympiad questions of a different country right so see you in the next session till then please take a very good care of yourself thank you bye bye